Did you appreciate you've got two options for connecting your Sony ZV-10 to your computer to use it as a high quality webcam? You can either use a USB cable or you can use the HDMI output, go through something like a cam link and increase that resolution up to 4K. And in this video, we simply want to demonstrate the difference in quality and point out a few things that you might not have realized. So we've connected our USB cable and we've got a micro HDMI cable connected through a cam link. So here we go. What are you expecting? Do you think we're going to notice any difference in this? Is it just two cables that are doing the same job? Let's jump in. Now, this is the footage coming through over HDMI first. It's what we've recorded everything on up to this point. So you shouldn't really be seeing much difference. And now let's switch it over to USB. Notice that it seems to be darker. It's got a pink tint to it and it's just not matching up with the quality of the HDMI. Do you agree? Now, it's worth pointing out that the resolution has just dropped from 4K over that HDMI feed down to 720p over USB because 720 is as much as we can get out of the USB cable. Now, in fairness, 720p is the maximum you're going to get out of a Zoom call anyway, unless you're on an enterprise plan. But if you're streaming to YouTube or recording videos on your computer using something like Ecamm Live, then you may prefer 1080p or better still, as we're doing, 4K. And if you're not convinced about 4K, and especially if you're one of those 41% who are watching on your phone, can I encourage you to have another look at this video on the largest screen that you've got and select 4K down at the bottom here in your YouTube settings. And I reckon you're going to see why we're starting doing all of our videos now in 4K. And even if you output to 1080p, shooting in 4K gives you some room to zoom in and out without dropping quality. So what do you think? Here they are side by side, USB in 720, HDMI in 1080 and then HDMI in 4K. Personally, I reckon if you've invested in a camera like this to improve your quality, then it's a bit short-sighted to not want to spend another hundred dollars to get the cam link and record or stream in that higher quality. So what do you think? Please tell us in the comments below. And I mentioned earlier about zoom resolution being 720p. Actually, by default, you're getting 240p unless you upgrade. So if you want to know how easily you can do that, check out this next video where I walk you through exactly what you should do. We'll see you over there. Thank you.